After hours, when you return to a seam seamstress's union in the early hours of the morning, it seems a completely different place, bereft of the normal crowd that haunts it. The bar feels desolate, almost abandoned. It's eerie like the back hallways of hotels and shopping malls. But you finally have a break in your case, a sample of the Ripper's blood. You just need to find someone to help you analyze it. Without its colorful staff, who cast a regular and posing tourist, the union feels hollow. The front bar and lounge are deserted except for a handful of janitors. Mm. Save. Alrighty, let's do some forensics. Who the hell is this? Cool hairdo. Oh, Kubota's in the back, you say. Now where's Van Gaar? Gra? Van Gaar's? Hmm, I forgot his name already. Got something to sell. Gather around the intimate back bar. Kubota and her coterie gather for breakfast with the lady herself doing the cooking. The smell of soy calf and something resembling sausage fill the room. Is soy calf just coffee made of soy? Is this the grim future? What's in the sausage? Eh. Mr. Clue, how goes it? Evening, sir. What's the word around town, Mr. Clue? There's been more talk of ripper killings. Some people are saying that they are hate crimes on account of victims being humans. Well, well, well. Whatever told you the prime suspect were an elf and troll. I mean, mm, eh, mm, let's not go there. Alright. Them being elves and trolls had nothing to do with. Most people are ignorant bastards. I mean, yes. Well, I wouldn't go that far. You're too nice, Mr. Clue. People are just too quick to label something a hate crime. Check the census. The city is still 66% humans. Close your eyes and throw a rock. You're more than likely to hit a human. Doesn't make it a hate crime. Still a crime though, and that should be enough. This is the fir first real rise you've seen out of Mr. Clue. But he reins himself in with a roll of his thick shoulders and smoothing of his jacket. Don't worry. Not gonna start throwing rocks. Wouldn't want to reinforce the stereotype. Oh, you... Mm, you troll person, you... I'll leave you to your business, sir. Alright, Kubota. How goes it? Wait, I always said that. Oh, hi you. Would you like... Would you like some... She stops. She for, forgive me, oh my. But you look like hell. Do I? I mean, with that outfit, I sure, I guess I do. Long night. He looks you over, noting signs of your nocturnal activities. She nods. Any run you can walk away from is a good run. Ah. I agree. Good to be back in one piece. It's a good thing to have you back. I can tell you've been busy, and I can see by the look on your face that there is something you need. Is it about the Ripper? Hmm. Could be, I don't know until I get something analyzed. Understand? I will unlock the piano so you may go downstairs. Someone down there should be able to help you if they are awake. It's likely you visit the Matrix before the day is done. The Matrix? Oh, so I want a sausage. Take the whole plate. Yeah. Yeah, sausage. It's great. I guess I could also buy a few things. I still got that, uh, okay, 4,150, 2,500 in po my pocket. Ah, the digital world. <laughs> Wait, damn it. You've been doing a lot of leg legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace and back to ID the rip. A trip to cyberspace and back to ID the Ripper. The Matrix, the cybernetic analog of inside the grid. The worldwide computer network, a digital world. Information brought to life. Inside the cyberspace, your avatar does all the work while your meat body is left behind. All around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counter intrusion programs, and other jacked in runners. Cyberspace has um, as many dangers as the meat world and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures, and black IC that can fry a decker's brain. 
Every movement you make in a matrix can be tracked if you aren't careful. Get dump shocked out and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy decker and you can die. Ooh, dangerous. Anything here? David Fry the second. Oh, that's the digital guy. That's the Decker dude. I'll talk to him later. Van Gras, I've been looking for you. I was hoping you to get some peace and quiet tonight. You got something for me? I got a flight recorder. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be an Ares flight recorder, would it? Some very powerful buyers are looking for that right now. I can get rid of it for you. For say 20%, that leaves 2000 for you. I know what I have. Make it 2500 and it's all yours. Alright. Okay. I think now I can afford some new arms. And the... Uh, not that the... Hmm. The doctor isn't here. Oh well. David, hey, what's up? Morning, you look like you've been up all night. You l look like you've seen some action, too. So, I could use this here. Okay, where's Dr. Castle? Asleep, I assume. Do you need a med kit or something? Yeah, well, I kinda do. Also, I need someone to analyze a DNA sample. Hmm, Dr. Castle's equipment aren't really set up for that. Consider us for a minute. However, I could employ semiconductory chips. You could decode DNA using voltage change instead of light. That would eliminate the use of highly expensive equipment that would require otherwise. <laughs> he brightens. I just read a journal about it so the information is still fresh. Frankly, it should be easy. What do you want to know about it? Wait. So you just read it off a journal, you say? Huh. That's, uh... That's, uh... Hope you don't fry the blood. The owner's identity, of course. Ah, that's beyond me. I can get used the gene code sequence. Oh, better than nothing. But that's where I come in. David, if you can get me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we can track its owner down via a matrix run. Ooh. Will do. Let me have the DNA when you want to test. Uh-huh. Drew's Danner. When David gives me the sequence, I'll jack in and help you trace the blood sample back to its, its source. Uh-huh. Wiz. Yet to work. Question, if I may. Whose? I think it's the Ripper's blood. No drag. He turns to Johnny, excited. Wake up, Johnny boy. You got work to do. Andrews Danner, if you need any gear, I'll be right here. Check out a second wind. Meet, meet you at my rig, Drews Danner. Alright. What else can you do for me? Oh, hardware, huh? Do I need any for this trip? I'm not really a decker, so... I'm more of a puncher. Or in that sense, I'm sort of a decker. Eh, eh. Johnny. Mr. Clean. Thanks to the semiconductor-based gene sequencing system that they've employed, we should have the information we need to track the Ripper in the Matrix. Very impressed with the result, considering it was his first attempt. He was utilizing an unproven technique he read out, uh, he'd read about in a science journal, and he was working from memory on minimal sleep. Okay. Uh-huh. That's great, Professor. What's the plan? We hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prior criminal record. They have an extensive DNA archive. Then we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the decks and jack into the matrix. I can get into their private grid easily, but I've got to warn you, once we're in, it could get a little tough. How much uh, decking experience you have? None. I have a note. I have a throw net here. It's a headband you can wear that lets you piggyback me into the matrix. You see and hear everything I do. Cool. Very cool. It's like w watching a playthrough of someone else's game. Uh huh. Is that all you got? It's not impressive. I thought you were supposed to be Nova Hot. Oh well. Oh, your synapses light up as you connect your consciousness to the digital world. Although you aren't jacked in like Johnny, the sensation is overwhelming and electrifying. 
You can only imagine the way it feels for him. Oh, wow. Okay, these are the programs, and what's this? Execute attackers? Yeah. Huh, what's this? Oh, I, do, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. If these are programs, what this? This is the hardware? Hmm? Hmm? Wait. Is that the... Uh... Hold on, let me try it. Okay, so it's a... Uh... Okay, it's a partner program thingy. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. What about you? You coming? How do I terminate him? Nope, he's stuck with me now. I guess he's kind of like an item, huh? Alright. Gotta find a new Bloom Star database. I see enemies. Data store is ahead, defended by intrusion countermeasures. Alright. What we got? Power attack program directed at one target. 75 IP damage. Uh huh. Increase your chance of hit versus enemy IC. Heal yourself. Mm hmm. Reduce alarm state by 4. Alarm state. Hmm. What's. what's it? Is it this thing? Like jacking out? Oh, that's jacking out. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's increase accuracy. Alright. And now we do uh, let's see, killer, killer suppression. Let's do killer. Is he dead? Nope. Let's do another one. Is he dead? Nope. All right, you are you're up. No, you tentacle program. You. What do you have? Tar bomb. Air air effect matrix attack. Seventy five. Root them in place for one round. Let's see. Oh, with just regular attack should be fine. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. And then let's do some AOE before we decide what to do next. Missed! Well, at least we got one. Alright, Mr. Clean, you up. Suppression sniffer. What's this? Oh, that's just... Wait, is it still applied? Yes, it's still applied. No, oh, that's not very strong at all. Vulnerable. All incoming damage plus 25. Well, it's fine. I'll finish you up right now. All right, let's see if there's a match. DNA match located. 100% match. Arrest record database. Subject Silas Forsberg. The status deceased. Profession chop shop surgical assistant. Breaking and entering two counts. Uh, public indecency one count. Brought in for questioning on accusation of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. Dead, you say. Huh. Let's keep looking. Where else can we... F Where else can we look? Well, there's this way. Uh, well, we just end turn here. Autopsy record. I see some programs. Oh! And they see me too. Ow! Accuracy plus. Mm -hmm. And killer. Do it again. Mm. 
There we go. Miss. Easy peasy. Right, let's do some healing. Uh, what? What the hell is that? What was that? What did I just do? What is this? What is this? Alright, anyway, let's take a look. Autopsy. Autopsy records. Subject Silas Forsberg. Notes. Subject was found overdose on half a dozen different sed sedatives. Uh, several anti-anxiety medications were also found in the system. Face was mutilated, possibly, possibly self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to disfiguration. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next of kin. Ah, I see. The mutilation of face, you say? Classic trickery, I say. Man faked his death. Large puncture wound was found in several places in the body, possibly large bore surgical needles. Body has been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. Uh, looks like they... Uh, sounds like he sedated someone and turned him into his body double. Come on, uh, what are you anyway? Some kind of Cthulhu bot? Hmm, need to cover. Uh huh, incoming damage, ah oh, shit. This one's gonna be tricky. All right, Mr. Clean, let's get to cleaning. Uh. Attack program, attack! Uh, only one at a time. Mm. All right. And, uh, now what is this? What is this supposed to be doing? I think I'll root you in place for a bit. Missed. Oh, that thing's got a range. Oh, oh. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Easy peasy. Wait, can an attack program do this? Ah. Uh -huh. News article. Newsnet 1. Return on subject Silas Forsberg. Body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Sn Snow Home Snow earlier this week. Snomish? Snomish? Snomish, yeah. Earlier this week. The body has been there for as long as a month when Forsberg's landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted the authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. Of course it's a suicide. They always say it's a suicide. Typical Lone Star. According to his reports, his body was a mass of punctured wounds and the cause of death was determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medication and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated, dedicated employee, though he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed to his estate has located a, written, a will written weeks prior, leaving all his belongings to his psychiatrist. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Yet another sad end to a life, as is far too common here in the Sprouse. Ah, looks like we got our man. 
Now that might be something to go on. You know, let's regroup in a meat space for a bit. So what do I just hit the button to jack out? Hmm. Is that gonna happen every time or hold on? Or do I have to like or will it not happen if I go to a like a proper jack out location? Alright. So here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which fits with the living guy you've met. The news net says he left his estate to his psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who his psychiatrist was will give us the next clue. My guts say we can deck in to the medical board's, rec board's records and reverse trace this doctor. You in? Uh -huh. Give me a minute, I need to save. Oh wow, I got 7,000 new yen. That's great. Anyways, Johnny, if you would. Oh, wait, I never. What does this do? What does jacking into this one do? And I guess I'm just standing here. Johnny Clean. Where is this? What is this? Where am I? Oh no. Medical board. There's no cover here. Isn't that a cover? Shit. Anyway, come here, big guy. Okay, okay. Let's do that AOE of yours. There we go. I'll finish this one. Easy. Easy peasy. To a big one, just to make sure we kill it. There we go. No big. All right, let's see what we got. Searching medical records, Silas Forsberg. Medical records file for Silas Forsberg located. 2020 to 2030. Pediatric records partial. One particular ped uh, pediatrician entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety most likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently, with the outbreak of changeling children being born. With the aberrant psychology we're seeing, there's no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribe a series of sedati sed sedatives last year that seem to have no effect, upping the dosage. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I read this already. 2030 to 2040. Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administrator for help. 2040 to present. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is the most significant. It is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Huh. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medication med latest medication has have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and frankly an unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimic speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason, and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will, form, I will inform him at his next session. Ah, oh, interesting. It's all coming together. Hmm. Oh, that would be very dangerous. All right. All right, let's up our accuracy a bit. I see they reshuffled my skill placement. It's a good thing I recognize it quick enough before I fuck myself over. What the hell is that? Black I see, white I see. Hmm. I see. 
I see. Is that a cover? That is a cover. Oh no! Damage! Oh, it's directly attacking the person inside or outside. Alright. Medical board. Employment records located Henry Hollings, Holmes, MD, PhD. Check current employment status. Current employment status. Dr. Ho Henry Holmes currently holds a position of chief psychiatrist and administrator at Mercy Mental Hospital, Snohomish, Washington, UCAS. Mm -hmm. oh, I read this. Previous employers. Previous employers, 2045 to 2044. Psychiatrist in residence, Mercy Mental Hospital, Snohomish, Washington, UCAS. 20, uh, 2040 to 2045, attending psychiatrist Mercy Mental Hospital in Snohomish, Washington, UCAS. In 2030 to 2040, private practice. Ha ha. I see, so he, he went to Mercy Mental Hospital after the identity swap. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Let's uh, jack out, as they say. Reality is at the end of the day contextual, and as the meat wool comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle on which world is the real one. While the philosophical question lingers, your, your meat body demands food and drink. You disconnect from death to find that the Union safe house has risen. Ah. David, what you got? David looks almost as tired as you do. You can tell that, uh, that this case has gotten the skin like it has yours. Any luck in there? We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead chop shop assistant by name of Silas Forsberg. Now I have my theories, but what do you think is going on here, Drew Stanner? Ah. Maybe Silas faked his death. That's a distinct possibility. What was it we, we saw in the autopsy report? Hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. In fact. The face was so mangled that they had to use med dental records to identify him. Good catch. That matches up with something I've seen runner tr runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop. They will make a replica set of teeth for you. Find some slub off, slub off the street n no one will miss. Swap the teeth and throw the heat off your trail for a while. Lucky I've never been that desperate. But why would he need to go through those lengths? Did the police records have something linking him to a different crime? Uh-huh. Hmm. At a prior unlicensed plastic surgery. True. And look too good on someone's record if they wanted to become a doctor. I think this is beginning to come together. The late Silas left all his belongings to a doctor. Dr. Holmes' employment records have him as the administrator at Mercy Mentos, and a picture on his file matches the person you saw downtown. The same person this DNA belongs to. All this evidence points to him being your killer, whoever he really is. Hmm. Yes, well, you should go find his Mr. Holmes and ask him some very pointed questions. Please pay him my respects. I always find that high caliber rounds get the message across. You should clearly hire some friends and go loaded for bear. I side loaned a ton of valuable data from those Lone Star Matrix nodes. Here's your cut. Oh, you're not coming, Mr. Clean? I think my party is done. You might want to go sticking your hands into a hornet's. You might want to go sticking your hand into a hornet's nest, but I'm a little more wary of the job I take these days. All right, see you later, Mr. Clean. Anything more to say? Oh, I don't need those. All right, guns. Grouperman, what you got? Despite the hour, Buster is fastidiously put together in another wrinkle-free suit. 
He shows every indication that he's been up for hours, sunk to his elbow in a dozen crates, each containing objects of sinister matte black hidden beneath a curl of straw-colored packing foam. The foam fly flies about as he inventories the shipment, clinging to every surface except for Buster's immaculate suit. Just in time, I've got a few slew of new toys in from a supplier back east, Fre factory fresh and still smelling of their mother's gun oil. Maybe there's something in this batch that you'd be interested in. Hmm. How long have you been in a trade, Buster? Well, let's see. I left Cal Free on July 8, 2038, at 6.13 in the morning. It was Thursday. From there, I wandered a bit, piled my skill as a merc in half a dozen different wars, official or otherwise. Never to take to running in the shadows like some of the boys I knew. Too sob though, for my tastes, I suppose. Surely there was no shortage of full-scale engagement to be had, so I didn't want to work. Might still be doing it today if I haven't lost the arm. Yeah. How'd you lose it? It was all so stupid. Some asses here were lobbing smokers behind our lines. More to mess with us than anything. I decided to toss one back, and didn't it just figure that the one I grabbed ain't a smoker? Got it, got it off, but only just barely. Shredded my old arm, but good. Uh, got plenty of other scar to remember the moment by as well, but the arm was the big one. So take a word of advice from an old soldier. Make sure you're never holding a grenade in one hand unless you just pulled the pin with the other. Now if I haven't given you reason to reason to doubt my professional confidence, how about we talk turkey? What can I get you? Ah, I'm not doing the voice anymore. Can't deal with that. <coughs> I'm not good with that. Oh, an axe. A katana. Interesting. Hmm. Cool sword. May do AP damage on critical hit. Mm -hmm. Grenades, grenades. Right? I need more med kits than grenades now. Hey, Mersman. Let's see what you got. New armor. Yes, yes. Armor is appreciated. Ganger Mars, taken off a dead ganger, which seemed to be a good idea at the time. Is it not now? Uh, refer the UC, UCAS shock gear. Strength plus one, HP plus five. Customized for the shadow. Alley mage outfit, mage rare for those who live on the streets. Grants willpower and HP. First nation armor, tribal uniform of a shaman. Grants charisma one, spirit control one. Golden boy. Let's see, Comptor Rockets for inter Grand's Intelligence 1, Drone Command, Matrix Courier for Intelligence 1, ESP Control, Miss Spec Flight Suit, Intelligence 1, Drone Control, Savish Pendant, Tribal Roots while working in a shadow, Charisma and Spirit Summoning, Slick Decker Outfit yeah, for decking, Urban Mystic uh, Outfit for Mysticking, Kunai Ninja Suit, uh -huh, Throwing Weapon and Movement. Stealth suit dodge and movement secure ninja clothing just dodge. And everything else is the old stuff. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Well, strength and HP seems nice. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe plus. Hmm. Do I want a bit more? Oh, I'm not exactly in that deep into magic. Mm, quickness, then. Quickness? Mm. Or do I just double down on strength? It's pretty cheap for. It's I can afford this right now, so might as well grab it. Can I just. Okay. Mm, looking good. Very orcish. Mm. Any magic you got? You know, just a little, little boost to my punching. Our Junon looks the same as always, so much so that one may wonder if it ever takes time to eat or sleep. Perhaps his presence on this plane of existence is insubstantial enough that he isn't subject to such base needs. Or perhaps he just does these things when no one is looking. Dark clouds surround you, my friend, but perhaps there is something I could provide that will help with whatever weight so weighs so heavily upon you. What's in the world of magic, Our Junon? The, s the spirits are stirring. Something has upset the natural order. There's something new. Different. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Seems like something new every day. What's it this time? But then I knew the spirit speaks in riddles. They leave me with more questions than answers. Well, damn those spirits. But there's something else out there. Something not born of life, as other spirits are. Huh. Shaking his head, Algernon opens his clasped hand to you, as if begging for forgiveness. Too often this world leaves us confounded. I pray I have not left you in such a state with my idle musing. Oh, don't worry, I'm always confounded. <laughs> Please, can I be of service to you today? Yeah. Need some magic. A little ump to my punch. Mana ball, stun ball, these are all mage stuff. I want chi casting. They do have some interesting stuff. Mind wipe. Target ignores all enemies. Haste tree. Ah. For four rounds. Lightning barrier, quiet bomb, silence. Okay, here we go. Magic resistance tree. I don't got so much chi casting there. Pain resistance. Decrease any damage. Yeah, that takes by two. Uh -huh. Let's see, mystic armor. Damage. These are all high level shit. Counter strike. Dev turns uh, turns N and will counter attack with any weapon anytime they attack. Okay. Passive. The attack's movements increase by two. Ah yes, this is very gonna be very good for me getting up to someone's face. I'll take it. And also magical resistance. Hold on. Passive. Oh, this is passive. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, okay, you it's it's a buff, basically. Okay. Grab this. Hmm. Wait. Okay, I have it on. Wait. Oh damn it. Why'd they kick me out? What if I want to do more shopping? Let's see here. Oh, wait, where's the stuff? Okay, magic resistance, pretty good too. I'll take it. Alright. Now then. For the real expensive stuff. Wait, where's the doctor? Is that the doctor? Oh, there she is. Thought she's a decker from that shiny stuff on her back. Just one glance is all you need to tell that a good doctor is exhausted. Her crumpled scrubs are stained with a mix of blood and other fluids too colorful to be naturally occurring in a human body. The eyes are those of a person who has built up a substantial sleep debt and has no idea when or how to begin pay it off. I may not want to talk, but you look like drag. Afraid there isn't much I can do for that. Dr. Doc Castle snap her fingers and call forth the spirit normally seen perched on her shoulder. It appears from out of the edder, eater, and the doctor immediately seemed less fatigued than she was a moment ago. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm, everything alright here, Doc? Here at the Union? Yes, fine, I'm just getting back myself. Days here tend to be slow, so I volunteer at a medical center on the other side of Taurus Field. And I had a tough shift. What happened? What always happened, some run or some deal or some meat went south, one thing led to another, etc, etc, etc. Didn't hear all the details, I really know is what came in on the lips of the victims healthy enough to still speak. Apparently one of the Baron gangs incurred the wrath of their local seul, seul pa, soul, soul pa rings, leading to a rolling shootout the crew the city streets. Several bystanders were injured, but the real mess didn't begin until the party crashed into the yard of an old industrial plant out on Union Hill Roads. They woke up some sort of toxic spirit, which then began running amok, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. And we were left to pick up the pieces, of course. But enough about my troubles, let her hear about yours. Tell me what ails you. Alright, medical supplies. Need some med packs. Two should be good. Yes. Hmm, and then let's check out that one's new arm, you see? Silver Tech Cyber Arm. Silver Technology Placement Rim uh, Limbs that adds 6 HP. Mm -hmm. Movement plus 1. Wired Reflex with Reflex Trigger. Movement plus 1 when triggered, you would dodge a first attack against you. Last 3 rounds. Ooh, 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 this is nice. It's cost 5,000. Wow. 
Vision magnification eyes. Renraku basic cyber eye replacements. Extends enhanced your vision at 3% to hit. I don't need that. I see plenty well with, you know, up close. Basic yet powerful mental machine replacement for your legs. That's plus 8 HP and 1 quickness. Siawase bone lacing plastic. So, mm, more HP. Dermo. Uh huh, Eris Dermal Plating adds 2 armor. Armor, HP, let's see. Damn, that's some good stuff. And I can't afford them all. Damn. Okay. Reflex Trigger, cool stuff. I want this, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I should prioritize something else. Legs? Um, mm, I, I, I think I have a good enough set of legs, wanna? But uh, I want body and. I think body and armor is something I want. Hmm. 5,005 and if I want reflex to go damn that's a 10,000 I should hmm 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 okay 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 I just got new armor so I might be able to hold back on armor for a bit let's get the expensive stuff first yes reflex trigger hmm Okay. Next is, do I want oh, 8 HP and mm, no. mm, quickness? Uh, no, no. I don't really need it. Let's see. Bones with hard plastic plus one body, which is like, what, 10 HP? Aristodermal armor plating implants. Two armor. Two ma how much is two armor anyway? And this is pretty old. I bet uh, a new one's gonna come out soon. And maybe the bone lacing as well. I bet a new one of these stuff is coming out. Just like, wait. Is it? Is it? It says, okay, okay. Bone lacing has, uh, is just that. But uh, I see the Eris Dermal Plating has a basic right next to it. So we might see an advance later on. So I'm just gonna grab the, the, the bone lacing plastic. Wait, it says plastic. Is there gonna be steel later? Damn it! Investment, investments. God damn it! Uh, uh, mm, damn. You know what? I'm. I'm. Uh, mm. I did get pretty hurt on the last run, didn't I? Ten more extra HP. Three thousand. Hmm. 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 You know what? Screw it. I'll just grab the reflex trigger for now. And we'll see what happens next. Cyber Cyberware causes essence loss. The this effect magic rating of your character as magic is equal to essence rounded down. Magic is very important for spellcasters. The base number of spell slots available to caster is equal to half their magic rounded down. Therefore, losing essence can cause spell slots to be permanently lost. In addition, each point of magic lost increase all spell cooldowns by plus one. Casting a spell again while it is cooling causes drain damage to the caster. You cannot have less than one essence. I see, so I have four essence. Should be fine, should be fine. Thanks, Sarah. Alright, I'm a Cyberman now. Let's see. Let's see if I still have all my spells. Forgot how much spell slots I have. Alright, floor. Four. Four. Mm, exactly the number of spells I have. Good. Now then. Uh. Uh, hello there, Mr. Delilah. If you're looking for runners again, I'm your guy. Discreet service only. Alright, let's hire a crew. Wait, do I head up right after this, or...? Because I kind of want to talk to more people first. Fixer contacts, Nephilim network, Ben the Willow. They all can't cost money to wait. Shannon's here. Alright, Shannon. Is Coyote here? You know, I thought she owed me a favor. Oh, I see some of them has jacked up their price since the last time. Interesting. Where's... Where's just in case? There you are. Mm. I'll do this later. 
Wait, I can't leave. Oh, I guess there's no more, no one else to talk to then. I guess this is it. Mr. Delilah, let's talk. <laughs>